Hello, my little pumper nickels. How are you doing? It's Friday and it's John O'Casson here reporting from the Warm and Toasty Club online memory afternoon episode 67. How's your life? How's, how's things going for you? Is it good out there? Here, the weather report is grey and changeable. We have four seasons, um, hopefully not that massive, great big pieces of snow and hailstones that some people have been receiving. Um, how's your week been? Been all right? You've been out and about doing stuff? I hope so. Got a lovely show for you this afternoon in episode 67. Sowing a seed of the memory of the week, memory of the week this week. Thinking back, who were your favourite actors and actresses in the movies? Just simple as that. You know, I'm thinking Walter Matal for me. He's still good. I still watched The Taking of Pelham 123 the other day. I love it. We've got a retro raffle, two questions, two prizes. Uh, we've got videos this week, videos of Piers Harrison Reed. We've got um, Harbour Lights Trio. And we've also got a video of our spa day a little while back with Jess Wright, um, who came down thanks to the uh, National Lottery and filmed a spa day with her mum and the gang with us at Enoch House. We've got a video of that. We've also got Pet of the Week, a massive Pet of the Week, possibly last Pet of the Week. And we've got Jeanette's Poem of the Week, of course. And we do have Jeanette Lyons on the line, live and direct from Norfolk. Norfolk, can you receive us? Hello. Hello, Colchester. Norfolk here. How are you, Norfolk? I'm great. I'm on holiday up in the wilds of Norfolk, North Norfolk, and it's really lovely, apart from the rain, but, you know, that's any weather. Oh, are you near Holcombe Beach at all? I was thinking uh, that's a really nice yes. beach. I was going to go to um, Wells next to the sea um, this afternoon, but the weather forecast is thunder and lightning and I might get washed away. So, but yeah, all the kind of North Norfolk beaches are around here, apparently. I haven't seen any yet. I only arrived last night. So, yeah, so far, I've seen a 70s bathroom, complete with a yellow bathroom suite. And some Ooh, bad it <laughs> it's lovely. I smell. I smell 70s. You smell like in the my 70s. 70s. <laughs> oh, it's yellow bathrooms. Yeah. You don't get many of those. Is it, is it more I like know. mustard or is it a zingy yellow? No, it's a really pale yellow, which I thought it would be like bright banana yellow, but it's not. It's like, you know, those um, sweets, the foam sweets, the foam bananas. Yes, yes. And they taste full on banana flavour, which is lovely, but they're kind of slightly paler yellow than a banana, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's that colour. It's really pale yellow. I'll see if I can take a picture later with yeah. the Badidas, obviously, shower gel in the corner. There's no such thing as a shower here. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream the other day about um, a chocolate banana. It was um, it Ooh. was delicious. Yeah, I don't want to go into it too much, talking about my dreams. But I could eat a chocolate banana now, chocolate covered banana sweet. Oh, Ooh, wee, they're they were lovely, good, aren't they? they? Really weren't nice. they just? I know uh, barbecue. Some people bring. Um, the, oh, somebody did that once that they brought bananas wrapped in foil, but they'd taken they just slit through the middle of the banana and put in those chocolate sweets, minstrels with the candy shell. Wow, and, that's a different one. And then put the um, foil back on and put them on the barbecue. Oh, they are lovely. Banana and melted chocolate with this kind of candy. Ooh, oh, it sounds nice. Really so nice. the hard bit on the minstrel sort of gone softened. Has it, it just goes, yeah, caramel, it's really nice. Oh, I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, I think I, you were, you're a chocolate, a chocolate banana guy, not a chocolate orange guy, I remember. Chocolate orange. Ooh, Devil's the way for me. <laughs> and they used to do that in the film, didn't they? Yeah, remember the... the, um, the uh, Vamp uh, Dracula films, wasn't it? The vampires. They Are you like left handed? That. Because look, look how different we're doing this. Oh, look, I'm doing it like that. So, oh, no. All <laughs> oh, right, hold on. <laughs> look at the state of my fingers. Look at them. They're all twisted. <laughs> oh, you've got the things on. And, and, oh, yeah. it looks like one of those hammer horrors. <laughs> I've just spent an hour in the yellow bath, so my fingers are all really crinkly. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just too long in the bath. 
I love oh. it. I don't have a bath at my house. I've just made the most of it. I know that's going to make your year, isn't it? That you can it have is. a bath. I was trying to remember the last time I was in a, a lovely, I do have a bath at my house, but it's a short one and so I just have showers. So this is a proper size enamel bath. And uh, the last time I was in a bath, apart from this morning, was when I was on holiday with Jade and we did a road trip to Wales and in one of the hotels. And I remember laying there in a bubble bath with one of the mugs from the you know coffee making facilities full of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> in a bath drinking red wine. Never done that. This morning, I laid in the yellow bath Ooh, you're living. drinking coffee. <laughs> I know. I love a bath, but few oh. and far between. I don't gonna, smell that. I'm going to say hello to Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Christine. She's both say hello, everyone. Tom's making the bread. It's just out of the oven. He'll be here soon. He got his days, bread making days wrong. And if Tom gets his bread making days wrong, that really throws out his week. He's a big <laughs> homemade bread eating man. Um, Jenny Lifko, hi Jenny, nice to see you. To see you, Carol Johnson, hello again, Carol Johnson, nice to see you. Afternoon to you too. Let us get while we wait for Tom and his bread and all the stories. Uh, Jono, sorry, yes. Jono, sorry, yes. sorry, sorry, sir, excuse me. Ms. Ms. Jono, yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> I can see on my phone because I've got my phone going at the same time and it tells me when people that I know are logging and watch. And I can see that, um, KGB. Keith is watching. Hi. Yes. And uh, a new person for the show is um, uh, Madam Bellows, my friend oh, yes. Teresa. So she's uh, watching, which is hi, hi Madam Bellows, Teresa. Um, yeah, this is nice. I like seeing who's watching. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, you're all welcome. Glad to hear you're watching us. Uh, although it makes us a little bit nervous. Um, here's the retro raffle. Yeah. It's the retro raffle. It's coming to your screen It's the retro raffle Never has been seen It's the retro raffle And it's coming It's coming to your screen Oh yeah It's coming It's coming to your screen Retro raffle Facebook Live Yeah, yeah so the retro raffle this week for those who are joining us um tom's bread's done and afternoon keith oh. and hello rosanna it's nice to he's here tom's here i'll bring him forth oh let's bring him forth tom you're here the bread man oh, Ooh. oh look at that getting a bit hungry That's, is that a cob loaf is it cobblers <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks hey, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely like to eat that. I like bread. Yeah, I would definitely like to eat that, but I can't. But it does smell nice. A bit too hot, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hot. Do you have bread oh, every day? What are you going to put on that? Are you going to have jam, butter? Uh, well, that's... Uh, I don't know yet, actually. We've got to decide. But no, uh, Sort of. I do have bread quite a lot, but it doesn't... Because it's sort of like sourdough, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really fill me up very much. Whereas, sort of like normal bread, really makes me feel a bit bloated. Yeah. Mm. What kind of wheat do you use then? Because uh, I, I thought it was the wheat that fills you up. I don't know. I use um, we use Sh Shipton Mill flour, though. Right. On that. So that's just a white. That's just a white flour. So I think. I think it's unbleached as well. I don't think it's sort of. Like bleached mm. white, it's just white. So it's not gluten free or anything. No, I can't have it then. Can't have it. How often no, do you bake, bake bread? <laughs> um, oh, how many? Maybe two or three times a week. Makes the house smell nice as well. Not saying your house smells bad, but it does normally, apart from <laughs> baking. <days. laughs> a bit like me, I think. <laughs> apart from baking days. Um, let me move that over and just say hi to Irene and Colin. Um, Keith says, wow, nice one, Tom. He's admiring your bread, as is Kim. She says it looks yummy. Well, we would, um, Marie and her sister wanted to make sourdough bread, hmm. but they haven't got round to it yet. So I thought that might be a, you know. An inspiration. An inspiration. Mm. Go, Marie. Go, Marie. Go, Gemma. Get, woo, get woo, woo, woo. I've got a, a bread making machine, but I, I haven't experimented much with them. But... No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Make it by hand. Stop messing about. 
Oh, machines, you don't want a machine to make your bread, do you? Does it um, take a long time? I, I, I it's the whole kneading out. thing, you know, it would make my, my wrists ache. No, I mean, you, you hardly have to do anything at all. I mean, that's the funny thing about it. I think with like with that, I mean, it's, it's I think I, it's about five or six times, but you only need it like about three or four times each time you do it. Right. So, and it has to raise a bit, does it? I've, I've seen um, Great British Bake Off and they have proving drawers where they, they do have, let they uh, do have proving things drawers. double in size. <laughs> do you do that? Um, I do. I don't have a proving drawer, but I just warm up the small oven to like 50 degrees and then leave it for like a couple of hours to prove. Right. Um, what do you use a starter, Tom? And how old is it? Oh, my star I, I made my starter when actually no i made it before we went on holiday to greece so it's from but we throw we put it in the freezer and froze it when we were away in greece so it's probably maybe about two or three years old wow but, but we did start it started thanks for joining us with bread making with tom He's gonna eat some in front of you, it's gonna be very yum. Right, anyway. <laughs> That's bread I'm eating bacon. toast on sourdough bread at the moment, which is very nice. So, and he said, What do you use? I just use the white flour as a starter, I just add it. Add there the you go. Flour. Yeah, there you go. He's gonna inspire a nation of bread makers. This, this week. Uh, our theme is not bread, actually, even though it's gone off at a tangent. I always say every day, you don't plan what you're going to talk about. I didn't know I was going to be talking about bread today. Who knew? But what we plan to talk about is your favourite actors and actresses. So the films, the movies, the flicks, the pictures. And with that in mind, Retro Raffle has two questions for you. And I'll just flash it to you. I'm not going to flash you any bread. I'm going to flash you. You can win yourself a batch. Sweets have all gone now, all gone. Well, it is, there's like a packet or two, which I was going to bring to the next shows, which more of later, but um, not enough to send people out if you get lots of you getting it right. So I've got two questions, and then Tom will talk more about bread. Um, first question is, what type of cowboy was John Voigt in the 1969 film? Was it a, a cheeky cowboy? B, it ain't half hot mum cowboy? C, Butch Cassidy Cowboy, or D, Midnight Cowboy? The choice is yours. I'm getting this funny thing where um, people are commenting, and it's it's a new system we're working on, the same system, but it's been updated. And every time somebody makes a comment, it's throwing a thing up there saying, do you want that to be on the on the main screen? So <laughs> it's really something keeping me on my toes. Um, it's a filter, so no filth on this show. It's the filth filter. Yes, it's the Phil filter. Marie says, hi, everyone. Gemma and I will be trying Tom's bread recipe soon. Going to start festering our yeast. Is that a thing? Oh, God, I've got to skip that comment. Um, festering <laughs> our yeast and flour this weekend. Wow, wow, we we film it and we'll do a little video of um, she's, she's bread changed. making. She's changed her mind because it's flour and water. Oh, flour and water. <laughs> Kim Not says, yeast. sorry, Tom. Not yeast. You know. Not yeast. Not yeast. Kim says, Jono, that sounded really good. Um, thank you. Um, that was my new theme tune that I made up on the spot for Tom's uh, Bread Making with Tom, our new show, which will be coming to um, Dave soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jenny says, John who? Um, John Voigt. Who? John Voigt. John Voigt. Um, John Voigt. What did you call him? What did I call him, John Voigt? Oh, I, I, I didn't pronounce the T. I said it in an East End accent. So Voigt. Voigt. <laughs> John Voigt, isn't it? Um, in London. Um, Wasn't he uh, um, uh, Angelina Jolie's dad? He's Angelina Jolie's dad. A bit of trivia mm. for Jeanette there. Um, Ellie says, hello, everyone. Just a quick hi in my break. Jen the Nan sends love to all and looks forward to seeing you in September. Yeah, hey, hey. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Jen the Nan. Sending love to you both. Um, and we look forward to seeing you, Jen, too. Oh, 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 oh. September the 9th, um, we'll be back at Greenstead Community Centre. And I'll tell you about more about that later. Nobody's getting the question. Uh, except Keith's going for D, KGB. 
um, Jenny doesn't know who he is anyway. Oh my oh, God, you've not watched that film. Julie's dad. He's dad. He's Andrew Julie. Uh, is his dad. <laughs> John Jelena. John Jelena, isn't he? John Voigt. 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 Um, so it looks like Keith wins that prize. Yes, you get a badge Ooh. if you want it, KGB. Let us know and I'll send you one through the post. The answer to the question, what type of cowboy was John Voigt? In the 1969 film, he was, of course, Midnight Cowboy. It was with him and Dustin Hoffman. And yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great film if you've not seen it. Not always the happiest film, but there's a no, great part. Not, not the happiest film in the a bit world. bit raunchy. Not the happiest film. Well, yeah, a little bit. Um, but, yeah, anyway, don't know Eva, says Christine. That was a bad choice by me. Sorry. Let me give you something a little bit different then that you should know. It's a bit more modern, but it's still from back a little way. What was the name of Julia Roberts' character in the movie Pretty Woman? Was it A, Anne Jones? B, Annie James, C, Vivian Ward, or D, Victoria White. Pretty woman walking down the street. I've seen that film about four times and I have no idea of her name. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how you don't remember name. those useless bits of information. Mm. You? you know, Richard I remember Beard. her secretly flossing in the bathroom and he thought she was taking drugs, but she was flossing her teeth. Oh, I, see, I didn't that. remember that. See, you could have done trivia. <laughs> um, Kim's going C. <laughs> Kim's going C. Anybody else? Any anyone for anybody else? Two pound and twenty to Mardis. Um Kim's going oh, yes. not Kim, Keith. <laughs> He's going A, B, and C. Oh. An amalgamation. It's a very long name, isn't it? And Jones, Annie James, and Vivian Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why I'm singing that as if I'm in a church or a cathedral. Could you put lots of reverb on that so we really get the full effect? Normally I could, but I'm strictly not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> Jenny Lifgo, right? She was the former queen of the retro raffle scene. She has been reinstated on numerous occasions as the mm -hmm. queen now, the present queen of the retro raffle scene. She says, pass. Two questions. Mm -hmm. Don't know. At least take a guess. You've got a, a one in four chance. Exactly. I'm making it easy for you, really. 25%. Come on. 25%. Do this. Call a friend. Go on, Jenny. Have a have a guess now. Have a guess, mm. Jenny. Come on. Live a little. <laughs> oh, this way. Uh, nobody's going to get anything, and I'm just going to have to go and talk about bread again. <laughs> Keith, Keith, KGB, he's going to see also. We do have a bread maker, and I only eat gluten-free bread. And I I mix it all up beforehand, much better. Um, but really, what I should do is just mix it up and then put it in a um, in a tin drawer. and then put it in the, the oven. What's that, Jeanette? A proving drawer. <laughs> like, yeah. I've, I've watched Paul Hollywood. He knows all about bread. And if you don't have a proving drawer, like Tom says, put the oven on number 50. Yeah, but I'm not I'm like Tom. He's got a little oven somewhere, like like a really little one that he puts things in. Like two, oh, you, you don't ovens. have two ovens. Got two ovens. I so, thought yeah. everybody had two ovens: the big fan oven and the little oven that doubles up as a grill. Oh no, I've got I've got a grill, a big oven, and then the small oven. Oh, oh, get you! That is so posh. The, posh. The, the, the little oven's sort of like about yay wide, and is it an Arga? Or Rayburn? No, because no. oh, they've got lots Anna of Rayburn. She Anna Rayburn. Anna Rayburn. Um, <laughs> it's a smeg, actually. Is it? It's smeg. <laughs> we've got um, we've got a higher and a lower, but throughout the lockdown, um, it it where something that would normally take half an hour takes about two hours. I think it's maybe the seals have gone or something, but we're not wanted to get the man round. You know, when you get a man mm. round, do stuff. Um, but I think we're going to have to get him round, and maybe That's I'll take good. tips from Tom. I'll pop over to his proving oven, um, leave it there for a little while, and then I'll put in my gluten-free selection. Well, we're getting some quest uh, getting some questions answered. Keith's going C, Kim's going C, Jenny Lift goes gone with C, and um, Keith's saying Klosh. Klosh. 
Klosh. Is that, am I pronouncing that right? An oven. Is that an oven for kind of I th I making thought it was things a thing for, grow? For putting over. Klosh, I think it's for growing plants where yeah, you keep them sheltered from the weather. Yeah. I don't know, but they all get the right answer if they answered C. The answer to who was the name, what was the name of Julia Roberts' character in the movie Pretty Woman was C. Vivian Ward. Well, Jenny is right. Jenny's Jenny right. You're back. Go and she got it right. Da, 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 da. She's back. Jenny Lithgow, the reinstated queen of the retro raffle C. Yes, indeed. She's back, and it's time for memory of the week. Memory, memory, memory of the week. So today it might be a bit sunny in places. It might be a bit windy and rainy, like it is in here in Colchester. So I'm not sure how many people are tuning in, but ones that are, we're glad you're with us. Welcome, welcome. The memory of the week is going to the movies. Who was your favourite actor or actress? Um, back in the day, last week, Julia Roberts, Dustin Hoffman, that sort of thing. Um, I mentioned it before. I used to like Walter Matthau, and I still quite like him. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I just kind of like him. Um what kind of woman actress did I like? Not sure. I'll have a think about that Raquel as I Welsh. ask. What's, what's that, Tom? Tom? Raquel Welsh. She's nice. She's a pretty woman walking down the street. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, yeah, I've never really thought about Raquel Welsh as one of my favourite actresses, but I could no, work on that assumption. It came into my mind. What would you say, Tom, if you had an actor and actress from the past you had to pick? Um... From the past, I don't know. Well, it, like from yesterday, yeah. behind, before yeah. yesterday, or before today. I, I went to, um, I went to see Othello once, and it was. Um, I'm really bad with names. The Poirot guy. Um, oh. Oh, David something Suchet. Suchet. David Suchet. And he was absolutely fantastic. Was he? I, yeah, like it changed, sort of changed the world of acting for me. Really, he changed was, your life, didn't it? He was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, he was. He was the baddie, Iago, but he was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, David Suchef. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Well, I don't really like him because I've never watched him in anything. But I know <laughs> he did Poirot. Yeah, yeah. So who that, would you, who would be the woman, the actress of your life? I don't know really. Actress, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not okay. Sure. I'll have another think. Have another think. What about you, Jeanette? If you think back before today, who did you oh, like that's... on the silver screen? Well, I'm torn between two women. Yeah. Um, the man is easy. That is Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks can do no wrong, apart from Cloud Atlas. Apart from that, he can do no wrong. Every single film I've seen of his was just brilliant he's such an and he's supposed to be a really nice man and, and nice in real life and everything which i like um but women i'm torn because i really really like julie andrews and i really really like doris day and they're both very musical and very they're musical. both factory as well but doris day i kind of particularly remember when i was little and growing up and my mum liking her films and the thing that i really liked about her she never felt she had to do anything to be alluring she could just be her and she was just real clean cut girl next door kind of and singing you know annie oakley stuff and it, she was just lovely she was really beautiful and funny and and clean and i quite liked that and julie andrews oh what a goddess and mm -hmm. the, you know she's still there and she's just amazing and the the diversity of her that she can you know, play the character she did in 10, but after like Mary Poppins and just everything, all the stuff. She played, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the film where she was kind of in the 20s and she had to dress as a man. Uh, Molly, um, Mi Millie, Molly, Millie, Molly, Millie, Molly, Molly, Millie, Millington. No, 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 not that, that um, Millicent. No, not that one. Another one where she was kind of oh, like a cross dresser God. kind of thing. And oh, Julie, just, Julia, yeah. Julia, Julie, Julia. Uh, something like that, yeah. Not that I know every film she's ever made, honestly. <laughs> but she's great. I mean, she's faultless. So they're my two heroines in, in the world, Julie Andrews and, and Doris Day in film and music. But Sweet. then Tom Hanks. You like a good, clean 
actress. I do actually. I really Doris do. Day. I don't know what that means. Doris but... Day was a bit rude though, wasn't she? Was she? She no, was. She... she was. Was she really? Yeah. <gasps> oh, you shocked me. Don't, don't, don't tell. <laughs> was it to do with that whip crack that. away, whip crack away, whip crack away? <laughs> no, oh, she was gorgeous no. in that. So what you has she done that's a bit risque? You should read, read, <gasps> read up on it. Can't do it. It's a daytime show. No, see? it's it'd be too rude for the dark, dark. Well, in that case, just Julie Andrews then, and that's it. <laughs> so Tom Julie Brown. Andrews and Tom Hanks. I've just ruined your day. <laughs> that's it. You have. You've ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Not clean anymore. Unclean. Oh. Written out the front <laughs> of a house. Unclean. Um, <laughs> Kim Scarlet, to, woman. Scarlet Woman. Kim says um, Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, yes. What was in that one where she was in a horse? Like, not she was in a horse. <laughs> that Troy. one when she was in a horse. Troy. She jumped out of the horse. <laughs> the pantomime one. <laughs> no, it was no, national. Troy, it? What was it, Tom? No. Troy, when she came out of the horse, wasn't she? The Troy, no, but this one, <laughs> she was younger and she was, um, she was, uh, there was a black horse and it was like national something. Velvet. National, national Velvet. Velvet, was national. that it? Oh, right. Yeah, she was, she was good. Um, Elizabeth Taylor, Julie Andrews, too, from Chrissy. Um, let's start at the very beginning. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I know, like, at least three Julia Andrews films because I'm not really into Stop Julie me. Andrews. Oh, well, you say that. Oh, you say that. She's yeah. too yeah. clean. She's too clean. Oh, she's um, not. Victor like my... Victoria. Victor Victoria. That's yeah, the Victor film Victoria. Where she... That's yeah. not really Julia. What's that? Talking that rubbish. <laughs> um, Julie Andrews. Let's also see. Kim says Clark Gable and Patrick Swayze. Ooh, Patrick Swayze. I've had the time of my life. Ooh, lift her up, love. Um, Janina Doyle. <laughs> she says Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, he, mm. uh, actually, he is good. Mm -mm. Amazing as Hannibal Lecter and brilliant in Remains of the Day. And then absolutely astonishing performance in the father he's remarkable that's his most recent one where i think he might have dementia and he plays an older gentleman he is an older gentleman now i loved him that's a great um thing mm. there janina and hi to you um i liked him in um one recent years like the last about five years ago and he rode this bike he was uh, in australia he rode an old-time motorbike to try and break the world speed record um, I can't remember what it was called, but he was really good in that. Um, Keith, KGB, he says Peter Sellers and Goldie Horn. He don't oh, mess about. Yeah. He knows what he wants. He's straight in there. Peter They're Sellers, yeah. Yeah, I liked early Peter Sellers when he was in sort of um, I'm All Right Jack and things like that. Oh, but his um, very last film, Being There, I remember being there, that. Like one and, of my and he died. Ever. Well, I know because you named your dog after his... Yeah, a dog Chauncey. Yeah. Yeah. Chauncey and Gardner. I just remember seeing that film and he died not long afterwards. And I was really broken hearted. I felt I'd got to know him. Yeah. Uh, it was sad. Yeah, it was. World's fastest Indian, says Leah. That's the film that um Anthony uh... Hopkins was in. Check that one out. It's a real lovely, feel good film. Um yeah, it's just yeah, it's just so joyful and nice. And I like that. It's not too clean because he works with oily materials. Um, Merlin Jobson, she goes the fastest Indian too. Yeah, that's the one with Anthony Hopkins. Look that one up, people. Um, look that up. And tell us who your favourite actresses and actors are. Um, Leah says it was a very excellent film. It was. I thought so. And he was good in the um, Hannibal Lecter. What was Hannibal Lecter's film called? Was it called Hannibal Lecter? No. Uh, the Silence of the Lambs. The Silence of the Lambs with Jodie Foster. Hello, Jodie. It's me, Annabel Lecter. I'm going to eat you and have some Chardonnay. No, some Chianti. Not Chardonnay. And fava beans. I'm worthy of you if you bring that Chardonnay in. I don't know why I'm doing that stupid voice. I'm really sorry. It's, it's not easy to live with. Because <laughs> that's just how Hannibal Lecter spoke, wasn't it? I hey, remember. Chuck, how are you doing, Jodie Foster? David Hopkins impression, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you say David Hockney's impression? Yeah, yeah. That'd be left field. <laughs> so keep those memories coming in. We're going to have a video. We're going to have a video from our show. Ooh, ooh, it's going to be two years. Could be a little bit more because of lockdown. You kind of lose a year when you remember back now, don't you? You kind of lose. Yeah. 
you kind of discount the last year, last 14, 16 year months, half. year and a half, basically. Um, so we had a show in celebration of our memory afternoons project that we were running at the time that continues um, to this day through this show as an online memory afternoon. And we'll be back with the in-person one soon. But what we did was we had a run of inviting really interesting and delightful um, artists, songwriters, poets to come along to our memory afternoons and just sit in and listen to the stories that were being shared as we reminisced on different subjects every week and people just telling different stories from their life. Lives, I should say. And one of those person, we were very um, chuffed to have him with us, was a, a gentleman called Piers Harrison Reed, who's an amazing poet. Um, he's also an NHS nurse and he's done some amazing work both with the NHS and in support of the NHS and in doing his own poetry. He came along and wrote, gosh, maybe three poems, four poems of which this is one, this is him performing it live. I'm just going to take us off the screen. Sorry, Tom and Jeanette. Um, he performed this live at one of our warm and toasty shows at Colchester Arts Centre. Here is Piers Harris. Yeah, there is a place in Greenstead called the Warm and Toasty Club, led by Jono every Friday. They fill the room with mugs of tea and different biscuits baked in sweet and the air full thick with memories starting foggy when they meet then pointing out at angles being painted into shapes vivid snippets formed fast under filaments and faced by other wide-eyed men and women holding on to every letter can't wait to speak their own past being free and feel unfettered mad animated by the moments that come rushing back again as if unreeling and projected over the knitted sign untamed flickering and sparking many memories aflame with bombed out houses wholesome mischief and homesick heartache all the same how even the saddest stories have the happy at the centre Or connection uncorrupted by excuses to moan or vent or drag others into misery Just all honest, plain to see, yeah, soft nostalgia and slowly savoured silent glee Yeah, soft nostalgia and slowly savoured silent glee it's strange how sticky floors, gaffered velvet chairs, Christmas hues, raffles, smiling stares and missed conversation cues for these older boys and girls became a catalyst for comfort and the centre of the world, each with a story to tell in their own way, with filthy jokes and dry comments to laugh late into the day, remember life's ups and downs, they know this isn't all it is, they know they've got better stories than their kids and their kids' kids, they know things get tough and change, they know the world is big and for the young, but they inspire each other and made a place where they belong. And so, the warm and toasty team have let these shining stories out, put a time capsule for tomorrow and a family home for here and now. Yeah, they built a time capsule for a tomorrow and family home for here and now. Thank you very much, guys. The absolutely superb Piers Harrison Reed. Um, we was honoured that he came down and he wrote some beautiful poems. He does another one. That I think that one was called Time Capsule, and he does another one called um, about Betty's story when she remembers being a young girl, and uh, he starts it off by saying nuns are no fun, and then he just talks about this story that Betty shared, and um, just an amazing talent. As were all the artists that worked on that. It's on a CD. If you look it up, uh, Mormon Toast in Memory Songs. We've got a few of them. Um, just wonderful. I remember Piers. He was a really, really nice chap as well. Really lovely fella. And uh, I remember Jan, Jan the Nan, <laughs> being told to leave him alone. <laughs> yes. Keep your hands up, Jan the Nan. If you're out there. He's very handsome. He's a very handsome chap. And he does not only amazing work as a poet, he's an NHS hero. He's a, mm. he's a nurse, you know, working through this pandemic. And he should be saluted for his, for his beautiful creative artwork. That he, that he creates in, via his poems and his beats and also um, supporting the NHS and keeping people uh, well and alive, really. Um, this is lovely. Um, Brenda, hi, Johnny, Jeanette and Tom. Lovely to see you. Oh, hi. thank you, Brenda. Um, lovely to see you too, sister. Uh, my other sister, Annette Bowden, and she says, wow, he's brilliant. He is indeed. He's very good, says Brenda. We agree. We agree. Um, Jenny says, brilliant. Marie says, how cool is that poet? 
brilliant. He is. Piers Harrison Reed. Do look him up. Um, AD Johnson. Hello, AD. Thought you'd be busy. You're always super busy. Nice to see you. He says he's great. Kim says, Harrison Reed, that was brilliant. Um, Piers Harrison Reed, check him out. And Kim, well, I've heard from a little bird that Kim Saunders, it's her birthday today. So, in honor of that, we shall attempt via the means of time zone traveling to sing you happy birthday. Should we try it out, kids? We're all in different time things, time though, so it's going to sound a bit meddy. Med one, Maybe. two, three, four. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That was really badly out of time. Hope you have a lovely day. Hope you have a lovely uh, next couple of days, a lovely weekend with your family or doing whatever you do, Kim. Um, curry tonight. Curry tonight, Ken Deleu. <laughs> Birthday curry. <laughs> Birthday curry, yeah, true. Special one. Um, thanks for being with us and showing us so, such support, um, Kim, and all the Saunders indeed. Um, lovely people, one and all. Have a lovely birthday. Hi, says Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Um, I think that's waves from Ben. I can't, Brenda. I can't see the um. What she she is it like that? Like that. It's yeah. It's probably stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Stop, journal. Stop, journal. <laughs> um, stop, Leah. Stop, stop. Leah sends possibly some kisses with a sort of like some ears. Oh, on no, 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 it's, it's a, a party it's hat. A, Face with a party hat, hat on. Yeah. I need to get up with these emojis because they don't show on my screen. Happy birthday, says Keith, uh, to you, Kim. And Marie says, Ah, oh, that was lovely. Three part harmonies. <laughs> Out of time. <laughs> Three parts accident, I think it was. Um, Just wait till we're back in real life. Though. We're going to be back. We're Everything will back. be in technicolor and, and surround sound. <laughs> da, 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 da. Here is the pet of the week. Don't be shy and don't be meek. Come on, vote on Pet of the Week. You can meow and you can bark. You can join us for a lark on Pet of the Week. Yeah. Yeah. Sing along. Come on. That's a long jingle. It's quite long, long enough for you to open your bag of crisps or whatever you're opening. I, I was getting the paper ready and tearing off the edge bit to, to for the voting. To I me, it sounded like you're sneaking a few cheesy onions. No, there were, there were bits of paper coming off. <laughs> I just, I just heard lots of people. Got a notepad and everything. Look, I'm she's getting her little snacks out. She's lying in, in front of you. I just she was on toast. Like a little packet of bourbon biscuits. There's some nice cheese and onion crisps. <laughs> like, like, I'm in um, Norfolk. We don't have things like that here. Well, they're Norfolk tappers, aren't they? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Kim says, um, well, AD says happy birthday. And Kim says, oh, thank you to you all. That sounded beautiful. Good lying, good lying, Kim. Um, and it is curry tonight. Oh, yay! <laughs> um, so, pet of the week. Last week we had cat and dog, and I mold this over, mold it, mold it over, over some mold wine. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about after time. I don't know why I get out of bed most days. To be honest. Um, <laughs> I just thought, let's you just keep it together, one. Jono. Come on, look, how oh, much more of the show right, is left? Yeah, just keep yeah. it together. Sorry, this Come is on, the, this is a serious it. thing. It's pet of the week. The pets are from you to choose from. You can come with your own. We've got gerbil versus fish of all kinds versus snakes versus lizards versus mice versus rats or hamsters or rabbits or guinea pigs, indoor birds, including parakeets and buddies <laughs> and parrots. Uh, tortoise. tortoise or chickens um <laughs> i mean people say they have them as, as pets oh and if you've got any little small pigs or donkeys if you keep them as pets what would you vote for as your pet of the week so basically choose any pet any pet any pet that was a bit mike reed wasn't it um <laughs> run around now um <laughs> any pet other than a cat and dog for pet of the week how about that 
come on. We're giving you a choice here. Poor Jeanette. Poor Jeanette. Jeanette, poor That's Jeanette. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> She's ready. She's got to write lots You're of done. Things. What have you done? I've got not just got one piece of paper, I've got a whole notepad because I might need it for all the pets. There's so many, this could prove to be a disaster and you might not get any. Yeah. If right. you Four if you hours. think back and you had to pick a pet for you that you would like to have or you used to like to have that isn't a cat or dog, what would you have? What would you go for? Oh, well, we've got one straight away now from KGB. KGB says or leopard. Two? A leopard gecko. Is that a thing or is that two things? One. A leopard and a no, gecko? I think it's one thing. A leopard uh, gecko. Right. Yeah. But what about you, um, JL? Me? Well, see, cats, cats are, I'm all about the cats. But you had cats. Second, you last week. week. Last I know, week. I can't have cats or dogs. No. I know, I know. People have commented to me about my. Uh, my like of my liking of cats. <laughs> Just today, in fact, somebody's talked to me about how I like cats and not so keen on dogs. Um, but I can't think of any other pets that I would well, like. You did say to me earlier off air that you are the butterfly lady. Well, no, no, I was telling you that they fly at my face and <laughs> moths and butterflies fly kill, at my face. Kill and her, kill moth, moth well, it's kind of weird. And it and I've been to a, a butterfly park, you know, where you go in these huge big buildings and they have tropical butterflies that are like really big and of course i start walking through and then they start to come near me and then they start coming a bit more and it's shocking that they all fly at me and to the point that i have to run out and get out really quickly um, at the zoo and things at butterfly houses and i think it might be the diabetes and that i'm giving off sugary breath i think that's that's you and your sugary but... breath I know, but it's just it's, it's like a magnet for butterflies, and and it gets really scary when they're really big ones. So yeah, I, I like the look of butterflies, but I I don't really want big ones landing on me, just little do you, ones. Do you come out of those places just covered, your head covered with butterflies and? Worms? I would do, but I, I have to. But you kill them. Bat them away a bit, you and, kill them and I don't want to damage them because they're beautiful, but they do want to land on me all the time. It's horrible. You and your sugary breath. All right. Let's <laughs> ask Tom, is there any other than cat and dog that you would choose as a pet, Tom? I know you don't have one these days. Um, <laughs> um, no. No. All right. I'm going to go oh. with, with my sugary breath. Um, I'm going to go um, <laughs> tropical fish, um, not marine. Tropical fish, um, yeah. I'm, I've got Roger. He's a plec, and he's, I think he's 23, 22, 23. And I'm pleased to note that he wasn't coming out of his little hidey ho. But this week, he has come out because I put in courgette and peas, and he's back. Roger's back, swimming around like a good one. So that's mine. Let's think, see what everybody yeah, else is. I think I'd go for tortoise. Tortoise, leopard. Gecko from KGB. Never Christine tortoise. says tortoise. We've met a tortoise. It's gorgeous. I like Him, tortoises actually. Him going with rabbit. Rabbit. Sorry, I said that a bit wrong. Skinny boy tunes. I do know a very affectionate ferret. Ferret. I can't even get words out. I don't know what I've got up today. Um, an affectionate ferret called Jeanette. A bit like an <laughs> elongated kitten. <laughs> yes, an elongated kitten Jeanette called Jeanette. Um, <laughs> Sandra's you also blush now. <laughs> I am actually blushing. You're actually blushing. You elongated kitten, you. <laughs> you affectionate ferret, you. Um, Sandra's going rabbit. And it says donkey for me and a parrot for Lacey May. Blimey. Have you got a donkey now in there, Annie? All, all that you've all the people that live in your house, and you've got a donkey in the backyard and a parrot in Lacey May's room. Oh my god. Um Brenda says, at my allotment, I have a common lizard that appears now and again called Lenny. He lives locally. Oh no, I added that bit. But I would like a fluffy indoor rabbit. So if anybody's got a fluffy indoor rabbit that's going spare, um get in touch with Brenda down at allotment. But don't speak to the common lizard before you speak to Brenda. A common lizard. How big are they, Brent? I mean, I've I've got a newt. We've got newts in our garden, in the pond, little pond area. How big's a common lizard? I'm going to go and look that up. I love pond things. We've had tadpoles through the season. Now they're little frogs. I saw a little pot frog the other day. It was like the size of my little finger now. 
Boo, hello, little froggy. How are you doing? Not bad, John. Oh, thanks for asking. Um, oh, one of those bloke who does silly voices. Sorry. Um, this is in another world, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Called reality. Get your little donkey. <laughs> Instead of my little pony in your back garden, Annie, you can have uh, my little donkey. <clears throat> and you can do rides, for, like charge at the front. Come around the side path, you know. 20p a go, like we used to do on Jaywick Beach in the old days. Keep those coming in. At the moment, you could rabbits... You take around your sister's allotment, couldn't you? You could, yeah. So one sister can have a common lizard situation with a fluffy indoor rabbit. The other one can have a donkey and parrot exchange. Woo -wee. How would um, how would Brenda feel about a, a, a leopard gecko? Is that a bit like a lizard? Well, she's already got one of them at her allotment, so she might um, want it for colour. She lizards. says she says they're not very they're not very big, but there's only three lizard groups in the UK: slow worm, common lizard, and sand lizard. Lizard. She's put a kiss a in. Slow worm is a lizard. A, a hang slow on, hang worm. on. A slow yeah. worm is a lizard. Yes. Would that not be a slow yeah. lizard? No. No. <laughs> or are they a common worm and a sand worm? Uh, why? How can you have no. a worm and a lizard well, be not, the same thing? They're not worms, are they? They're not worms. Slow so worms aren't worms. I thought they were no. snakes. No, they're lizards. <laughs> they're lizards. Brenda knows <laughs> everything. Know. Obviously, she <laughs> is the, our lizard adjudicator. She's the expert, isn't she? She's the expert. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going up against an expert there, Janine. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going. I'm asking the question because I bow to the greater knowledge of yeah, our uh, participants. I know nothing. We know that. <laughs> well, you normally, let's be fair. You're good on cakes and biscuits, that sort of thing. But lizard. You know, you've got a bit of catching up to do. Brenda, no. I'm just looking at Annette's next comment. It's a little icon, but you might not be able to see which one it is, Jono. No. I think it's a unicorn. I love that. Oh. She's talking about this is in another world, and maybe it's the world with unicorns in it. Yeah, which is apparently a very nice world. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> nice to see you, Peggy. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, we hope to see is, you Is soon. the unicorn another favourite pet? Yeah, Can I put that it, down as a pet? Because I would definitely want one of those. You could, but it's not actually real, is it? You know. Wasn't mm. it? It's like a Cyclops in Jason and the Argonauts. They're, They're not really real. Pegasus. Yeah. Pegasus. Um, Pegasus. Brenda says too big. A gecko's too big. She can't have that. But she is saying I'd have a donkey too in her flat. <laughs> Don't know if the landlord would like that. Donkey. She is an expert. <laughs> Yeah, she is an expert. I am an expert. She says so. Um, Keith says, do they have tiny stumps where their limbs used to be? Oh, the slow worms. worms. Slow worms. Oh. I've uh, run away from them, so I wouldn't I'm going to have to go on the internet. Um, I'm going to have to put this up. Slow worm. Lizard. Oh. Slow lizard. Worm. Lizard. In Menorca, where I was two weeks ago, they have um, black lizards, little tiny ones. But they're absolutely black, and it's quite a, a known thing on. Uh, Manuka, they're, they're not lizards; they're worms. <laughs> they're, they've got arms and legs. No, they're geckos worms. as well in the house. They, they live up by the. They're not black lizards. They're black line. worms <laughs> with arms and legs that run about. <laughs> Let me see if that's loaded. Let me see a slow worm. This is a, a, a vicious one. Oh, see, oh, I've got goosebumps already just looking at that. I've got chills, they're multiplying. Yeah. Um, they like a bit of oh. sweet breath as well, don't they? Yeah, they not go oh, don't, don't. <laughs> That's just them crawling up my face. Oh, <laughs> oh, I would be feeding them, I'd be taking the butterflies out of my mouth and feeding the slow lizard <laughs> the butterflies. Christine says she would oh. love a donkey, no room for one. So I sponsor free rescue one so I can visit them. Oh, Chrissy. You oh. are just so good. You just keep getting better, Chrissy, with all these things you're telling us. You're such a lovely lady. What a nice thing to do. Brenda says they're a, like a legless lizard, as in the picture. And Annie says, Johnny, Steve, ha he's my brother. Steve had a slow worm back in the day, amongst other things. Yeah, he's my brother. My older brother's room used to stink. He used to have um, frogs, snakes, <laughs> lizards. Did you think he was a zookeeper? Dogs. It smelt like an old zoo. It really did. Um, <laughs> he, but he loved all them kind of things. I don't remember ever in a slow worm. Um, I probably should find a, a picture with a more less violent slow worm. 
because they're that quite a bit scary. Yeah, they're quite. It looks really um, fat as well, like it's just eaten something. They don't like to be bothered. Don't like. I've got one here. If I show you this one, I'm going to get it. I've got to get it up quick. Oh, uh, Mrs. Um, <laughs> let me just move. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. oh God. Should have got up today. Um, right. Um, loading up. Loading They're up. Leaving the show to us. <laughs> I know. Oh God, you imagine? Imagine how it goes. Look, there's there's a friendly slow one that looks more like oh. a dinosaur slash. It like a dinosaur. Yeah, a Brachiosaurus or something. Um, yeah, look, Jenny says, uh, as last week, frogs in the toilet. Remember when they went up her rim last yeah, week? Yeah, they did go up her rim, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Australian one. Australia, yeah. Yeah. Well done, Christine, for um, <clears throat> sponsoring the donkeys. So there's lots of choices. If you have any other choices for Pet of the Week, remember it's anything but a cat or a dog. Um, lizards are faring well this week, um, but I don't yeah. know if they're actual choices. Get them in, get them in, get them in while we watch a video. We had, oh, probably a couple of years ago now, um, Jess Wright came down. She came down with her mum, Carol, I think the mum's name was. Jess Wright appears on shows like The, the Only Way is Essex, Towie, I think they call it. Um, and she came down and sponsored a uh, spa day for all of our regulars our participants our guests at enoch house and we had a lovely day um really nice and it was all filmed um by the national lottery and we're just gonna have a look at a little video of that while jeanette has the good job the good job of adding up how she's gonna add up and work out what is the pet of the week keep the votes coming in you've got two minutes keep the votes coming in maybe less right let's put this video on here is uh, our spa day from not that long ago The Warm and Toasty Club is an intergenerational community group based in Colchester in Essex. Memory afternoons are for people over 60. They're about having a laugh, having a chat. We share memories and it's really about making older people, our older generation, feel cherished. You see people blossom again. They're joining in, they're getting involved, they're building new friendships. You can see their confidence coming back. There's just something about being in good company with good people that just makes you feel good. It's changed my life. It's changed your life? Changed my life. Lift our spirits and that, you know, we're so happy. Yeah. And I think we're very, very lucky. I'm Jess, it's my mum Carol, and we're here today at the Warm and Toasty Club to join all these wonderful people and befriend, basically. All these years, I've never had them done before in my life. No, you haven't. Are you serious? I'm serious. So this is the first time you've ever had your nails done? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. They look beautiful. Waited till I was 87 years old to do it. 87 <laughs> years young. Yes. We've had our nails done, people are getting neck massages, um, there's scones and tea and sandwiches. I've met so many wonderful people and it's just really sweet how they're all kind to each other and how they've all made friends. made my mum cry now. Oh, sorry, Carol. <laughs> my mum would love to have been here. She'd have loved this. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So nice what you're doing. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the Panther session just highlights how much the National Lottery has done for befriending in the last 25 years and how much money they've raised. Well, where we are today at the Warm and Toasty Club, it's only one of the nearly 12,000 projects in befriending that we've managed to fund across the UK. We've raised over £40 billion over the last 25 years. If they buy a lotto ticket, or a lottery ticket, it's making a real difference to projects like ours and we're so, so thankful for the National Lottery for doing that. Oh, it made me a bit emotional watching that, just looking back at those times not so long ago. Let's find uh, Sweet Breath Jeanette and Tom. Um, 
<laughs> there they are there they are oh that was lovely it was so lovely seeing that film and i remember that day so clearly yeah. everybody had such a good time and yeah. you made a really good of making up songs on the hoof like you do and and that was my ukulele there wasn't it it was lovely yes i remember yeah. betty you, you betty taught playing betty a ukulele. Play you. yeah you taught betty how to play it and even though she couldn't do a chord before she was doing it she was doing the shadow swing you know she yeah it <laughs> it's <just> great <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, good days. Thanks to the National Lottery Community Fund um, for continuing to support our work. Um, and thanks to Jess and Carol Wright, who came down. Um, a lovely video. It takes me back. Um, let's see. This is so wonderful, Johnny. You are all amazing. Ah, oh, thanks, Annie. You're amazing, too, running the Posh Club Crawley um, and doing great work there, too, for uh, people of retirement age, our older folk. Um, who we cherish, don't we? Yes, we do. Very emotional watching it, she said. Yes, it was a ah, lovely video. Jenny says, well done. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Jenny. Brenda says, making people so happy. Great. Well, I always think it's like we're a happiness exchange. We just have a laugh and be silly, but you also get a lot back from the people, people sharing life stories and, um, mm. you know, just their personalities. And it's sort of like, you know, you go through exchange to top up your batteries sort of thing, don't you? Um, I was just yeah. looking at the very last bit of that film. There was, um, I think it was me giving Gwen a little cuddle or something and just, you know, holding her face and just kind of giving her a kiss. And this is pre-pandemic. And you forget that that's how we, that's how we are with these people or we were. And I really want that back again. But I just don't yeah. know, even when we are back in the same room, I, I don't know that, that I would feel safe for them if, if I'm, hugging them and squeezing them and rubbing yeah. them with faces. It's, it's and, funny when you, you see know, videos. And, yeah, it. when you see videos and, and films or TV shows and people are sort of hugging and touching faces yeah. and that, it's sort of like a bit of gone to be an alien concept almost. But it will be back. Of course it will be back. Um, so. We'll be back. Let's just look at the diary. We'll be back. A um, couple of changes lately. So I've l let as many people know as I can. But if you're regulars, I'll be sending out the dates. We are back at Shrub End Social Centre on the 25th of August, uh, 2 p.m., 2 till 4. Shrub End uh, Social Centre, 25th of August. Um, and we're back, not at Enoch House. We've moved Enoch House over to Greenstead Community Centre. And we'll be there on the 9th of, um, the 9th of September, 2 till 4. 9th of September, 224 Greenstead Community Centre. We'll be doing both of those ones monthly um, for the fourth year. I'm there, sadly. Yeah, Jeanette won't always be able to be there, if at all, unfortunately, because she is a busy lady and she's usually free on Fridays for us yeah. only. There's a lot of slow, slow worms. A lot of slow worms. Yeah, yeah. slow worms, so. butterflies. Oh, I can't go in there. Yeah, <laughs> she needs to go to um, the festivals because she does um, a sweet breath booth where um through, yeah. through a covid yeah. special protection she breathes sweet yeah. breath on people no that yeah, just do. sounds wrong <laughs> doesn't it so take that back i do i do go to festivals and i do breathe <laughs> and that's a fair that, that's... as well yeah uh, an elongated kitten i think you call it yeah um yeah uh so we're back 25th of august uh shrub end social center and the 9th of September at Greenstead Community Centre. Um, and I'll send out those dates soon. Sorry that the dates, some of the dates were moved at the last minute that I mentioned last week, just because we want big enough halls for there to be space, for there to be ventilation, and for people to have a bit of room to move around. I'll talk to you more about it, and I'll post up the dates in the coming days. Comments, before we get to the thing, just comments... Uh, was a really lovely day. Enjoyed it, says Sandra. Yes, of course, Sandra. We know her as Sandy, but she was there. It was a lovely day. Marie says, that was such a great film showcasing what you do. Thank you. I thought it did a good job, didn't it, uh, Marie? It really did. Brenda says, are you on holiday in Norfolk, Jeanette? I am. Yes, I'm on, on holiday just for a few days in North Norfolk in, in the countryside, not too far from the sea. So having a lovely time. Very nice. And Kim says, that was a lovely video. You do so much for our older generation. Thank you, Kim. I'm glad you're with us. Um, not just because you say nice things, but, you know, obviously that's extra nice. It's <laughs> nice when people are nice to us. But we love feedback. It helps us uh, understand what we're doing and see whether it's being 
well met or not. Anyway, pet of the week. Oh my word. Shuffle those packet of crisps and those Voulet crisps. Bon. Pet of the week is I'm not gonna have a picture, but it's a rabbit. You've yeah. pulled that one out of the hat, Jeanette. Boom, 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 <laughs> with your sweet breath. Um, My sweet breath. It's a rabbit. Yeah, I know that it was going to be a rabbit because there weren't a lot of people choosing the same thing. So the pet of the week. I didn't have sweet breath yesterday, just so you know. I had a tuna sandwich for lunch yesterday yeah. and then a dentist appointment at, at what time? 2.30. Uh, but I did have a dentist appointment. And it wasn't, yeah, I did that. And it wasn't just the dentist. I was after him. I was seeing the hygienist and they both got all my tuna breath. Oh, you're so good to your dentist, aren't you? I know. Yeah, they won't want me back. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a sort of mackerel. It was either going to be sugar or tuna. So, you know, I decided for a change they could have tuna. Mm, nice, oh, nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a thing they used to say to people, you're if you don't like people. Yeah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> 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 Lovely of you. <laughs> I remember people talking in the past, if you didn't like somebody, you would go around their house uh, next time and you drop a fish, uh, not fish, a kipper, which is a fish, down the back of their radiator. <laughs> and they wouldn't know about it and it would stink the house out and they'd be confused for months. Did it dried out for nothing. Oh, um, I would never do that. No, I'm not saying you did. I just remember people talking about it. Um, no, but I might now. So, <laughs> you put the idea in my head. No, no, you, you only want good for people. I know that, you know. Um, yeah, most people. Sandra says that's a Wednesday for Shrub End and Thursday for the Greenstead Community Centre, 9th of September. Yeah, that's right. So Wednesdays, it's always going to be a Wednesday till the end of the year at least at Shrub End Social Centre. Um, and it's you it's usually the third or fourth week, but the one at Greenstead Social um Doodah, as you say, Duda, um is the community centre, thanks, Tom, is going to be the second Tuesday of every month. That one, Greenstead's community centre, is going to be the second Thursday of every month right through to the end of this year. Hopefully next year the plan will be we're back a bit more regular and the world is a bit more regular. But, you know, we've got to play it by ear. We'll try be trying different things out just to see what, makes, what works for you in this new age. And we'll still be having live entertainment singers are booked all the way through for all of our dates so it should be a lovely afternoon whatever you do come along bring a mask um just as we get set up and bring your phone number because we're probably going to need to take your phone number details as you come in and uh the suggested uh entry fee is one pound so bring a pound um that's what the participants wanted and that's what's going to happen Right, what have we got now? We've had pet of the week. We need something like what we need is some some good person with sweet breath to bring us some poetry. <laughs> That's what we need. Yes, I've got just the person. Oh, uh, okay. Give him a call. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is, ladies and gentlemen, it is with her own jingle that she wrote herself. Poem of the week. It's poem of the week. It's sometimes short and sweet. It's poem of the week. Thanks, Tom. I can't do it here. Always man it I'll do it for you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm not in a, a kind of chair that I can spin around on. I'm actually sitting on a really beautiful chaise long um, <clears throat> in, a, in a lovely cottage in Norfolk, as you know. So this week's poem, I hadn't um, got one prepared earlier, so I had a look through the bookshelves here and found some uh, nice poetry books, and I found this one, The Essential Spike Milligan, so I couldn't resist. So I've chosen a poem, and it's very apt. It's called Have a Nice Day. Help, help, said a man, I'm drowning. Hang on, said a man from the shore. Help, help, said the man, I'm not clowning. Yes, I know. I heard you before. Be patient, dear man who is drowning. You see, I've got a disease. I'm waiting for a Dr. J. Browning. So do be patient, please. How long, said the man who was drowning, will it take for the doctor to arrive? Not very long, said the man with the disease. Till then, try staying alive. Very well, said the man who was drowning. I'll try and stay afloat by reciting the poems of Browning and other things he wrote. Help, help, said the man who had a disease. I suddenly feel quite ill. Keep calm, said the man who was drowning. 
breathed deeply and lay quite still. Oh dear, said the man with the awful disease, I think I'm going to die. Farewell, said the man who was drowning, said the man with the disease, goodbye. So the man who was drowning drowned and the man with the disease passed away. But apart from that and a fire in my hat, it's been a very nice day. That was Have a Nice Day by Spike Milligan. Hope you like that. I, anything that he writes, I think is good fun. And he's good at rhyming. We know that. It made me smile. Thank you. Um, I'm <laughs> sure it'll, I'm sure there'll be people who enjoyed that out there. They'll tell us in a moment or two. Um, Sandra says, and you'll be still doing Friday online. Yeah, so we're going to be here every Friday right through till... Da, 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 till the 17th of December. We're going to be doing Fridays online. It's continuing one o'clock every week. Um, I'll be here. Um, Jeanette and Tom have a little bit of popping off because they have actual lives. And um, <laughs> but other than that, we'll be all, all of us will be here on a Friday every week, right through to the 17th of December. In the new year, our hope is we're going to do some streaming from some of our live events, from some of our in-person events. But we don't know what the future holds for us, do we? There's still a sort of a bit of an impasse. Um, but things are opening up. Things are improving. Um, people are getting vaccinated and it's making a difference. But we will be here for you and hopefully you will be there for us. So, yes, Sandra, every Friday. That's why we're not going back to doing Fridays at Enoch House because we're going to be here still. Let's see what people say. Loved it, Jeanette, says Chrissy. Enjoyed that, says Annette. Um, well done, Jeanette, says Brenda. R read sweetly as usual with your sweet breath. She didn't say the sweet breath. Um, great, po it, didn't you? great poem, says um, Marie. Um, good old Spike, says Jenny. Kim says, great poem, Jeanette. And John Sage, hi, John, says, love the poem. Um yeah, so that oh, so where are we? Where are we, people? It's seven. Wait, look minutes. at your script. <laughs> look at the script. Look at the script. We do have. I, I do sort of like get an order to the show. There's always an order, as you could probably tell if you watch regularly, and we go through that. The rest of it, we're just naturally talented at making up things as we go. <laughs> with all three of us. Um, the net comes with. It's going to be weird that <laughs> I'm just thinking the um, the next four weeks three of those four weeks i will be at festivals and i'm not sure i'm going to be able to um get on with 4g there'll be no wi-fi so um, no sweet I think tom's gonna <laughs> oh i think you'll manage i'll, I'll send you a video yeah we'll... <laughs> i'll try and check in even if it's just a check-in from a festival so you can see whether i'm in the rain or, or in the sunshine in a field yeah, it's okay. Okay, I've just looked at the thing. I realise I've got a book and artist there. Uh, getting into admin mode. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, and Tom's going to not be here for some of it as well. Is that right, Tom? Yeah. Are we leaving Jono completely alone at any point? Because do we yeah, need to I, get a stand -in? So next, next <laughs> what, what is he going to do next week? You're um, you're both off, and it's just me. No, I'm not here. Oh, Tom's coming back. Right. All right, oh, tell the people. The following week, I'll be there. Following week, Jeanette's off um, on the 20th. No. No. no, I think I'm I'm not here next week. Then I am the following one, and then two weeks off. It, this is really interesting for people, isn't it? I'm, exactly. Like Let's not get into our admin. Um, <laughs> but, yes, we're going to be here all the way through to the end of the year. Um, we've got a little video for you now, just to sort of tail off the show before we go. Quick, Mum, it's the ice cream fan. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you st stupid machine. What video is that? That's quick. <laughs> that it's the ice cream van. It's you ice lolly of the week. Is you rushing out. Sounds like the Beano. The other day. <laughs> What's that, Tom? You rushing out for an ice cream the other day. Is that, that was me video? like an idiot, yeah. And then it fell and I smashed my head on the side of the ice cream van. <laughs> Which not because my head's quite hard. It knocked the whole ice cream van over. Mr. Whippy, did you not see the Mr. Whippy episode in Colchester Gazette? There was there was a <laughs> an, an air ambulance landed on the field behind the other day on Tuesday. Was that you? Oh, I heard about that. No, there was um there was an incident um on the high street and there was somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. anyway, we won't dwell on those uh, unfortunate moments. We're going to have a little video. Um, 
back not so long ago, we used to see a lot of these this trio, lovely three gentlemen called Harbour Lights Trio. If you came to our regular in-person events, uh, Memory Afternoons, you'll know them. They came down to uh, Enoch House and they sung a little song for us. And let us play a little video of it. Harbour Lights. Oh. Well, I'm a very handy man to save a bit of Bob's me plan. One day last week I said to the wife, the yard wants a wash upon my life. So I'll go and do the job, and I did so help me Bob. I mixed a pail of whitewash, set to work, and the old girl helped me like an old turn. Slap that, slap that, up and down the brick work, slap that all day long. In the night the corners, round the Johnny Horners, we were a pair of bare clean corners. Slap that with a whitewash brush, talk about a fancy ball. Well, I got more whitewash on the old woman than I did about the garden wall. Mrs. Now I must confess, she dressed me in her old night dress. Her night cap too, she made me wear. She was dressed like me, so he looked up there. Well, she held up the pail so high, and I made that white wash fly. Every now and then I heard a squall and mistaken her face for the garden wall. Slap dab, slap dab, up and down the brick work, slap dab all day long. In the nook corner, around the Johnny Horner, oh, we were a pair of fair clean corners. Slap dab with a whitewash brush, talk about a fancy ball. I got more whitewash on the old woman than I did upon the garden wall. Well, feeling very dry just here, we went to get a drop of beer. And the kids from the house next door, I think, attracted by the whitewash, come and had a drink. Well, there's going to be an inquest now, and I'm in a terrible row. No more of my economical schemes for every night in all my dreams. Slap dab, slap dab, up and down the drink, but slap dab all day long. In an empty corner, round the Johnny Horner, we were a pair of fair clean corners. Slap dab with a white bush brush. Talk about a fancy ball. I got more white wash on the old woman than I did upon the garden wall. Slap dab, slap dab, up and down the brick work, slap dab all day long. In and out the corner, round the Johnny Horner, we were a pair of bare clean corners. Slap dab with the white wash brush, talk about a fancy ball. I got more white wash on the old woman than I did upon the garden Harbour Lights Trio. Oh, I love those guys. Really, really lovely gentlemen. Um, and they'll be they'll be with us in a number of months. They'll be back to forming with us. And uh, yes, lovely comments. Chrissy says, love them. Hope to see them soon. So do we. Jenny says, very jolly. Rather fun, says uh, John Sage. Brenda says, love the Harbour Lights Trio. Seen them at Harbour Inn nearby. Great music, nice people. I can echo that sentiment, Brenda. Um, love it, says Annie. Brenda says, jolly song. And Sandra says, great. Well, Tom and Jeanette, that's pretty much our show this afternoon. Have you anything to add? It's been lovely. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon, if not next week, the week after. Um, but have a good show next week if I don't make it. Tom, are you? I am inviting you to say anything you want. You don't have to. You can talk about bread if you prefer. Man, nobody wants to hear from me, really, do they? <laughs> they do. Don't say that, Tom. <laughs> uh, I've just well, actually, um, I'm going to go off and eat my bread in a minute. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy it, Andrew. Cheese, I think. Yeah, remember you know you uh, you've been commissioned for a new series of uh, bread making with Tom on Dave. Yeah, I've just had an email through from Mr. Dave. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not Dave, the TV show. It's just a bloke called Dave who's got a shed. <laughs> he wants Tom to come over and make bread Dave. for him. Hello, Dave. Have a great week, all. Thanks for being with us. Um, we're going to head off out into the... We're going to go and stand in the rain and refresh our souls. Um, it's been a joy being with you. Um, next week, it's me and Tom. Jeanette's away, me and Tom. Um and uh, our special guests, we have uh, a couple singing. I won't say any more. Just join us from one o'clock. Um, have yourself a good week. Thanks for being great. I really like you a lot. Um, thanks to Tom and Jeanette. And I'm going to get off, just leave you with the credits and say ta-ta for now. We've all got a tale to tell. Times were not always. Made it through by and by. It's warm and toasty in here. Share our laughter, sometimes tears. You'll be welcome with a cup of tea and a biscuit, maybe two or three. Wrapped in a little white cloth, cooking for hours in the old iron pot. There's a jam roly poly for tea. Enough for you and dad and grandma and me What did we like the most? Fish paste sandwich or peas on toast Nothing could come close To bubble and squeak the day after our sun